Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on velocity time graphs. So this is the second video on this topic and in this video we'll be looking at a couple of different skills, the first of which is calculating the acceleration. Uh, so the acceleration you get by working out the change in speed or velocity, so change in velocity uh, divided by the time. Uh, so in this graph uh, that is given by the gradient uh, so uh, we have to work out which section of the graph has the steepest gradient. Uh, so looking at this graph, we can instantly rule out section B, as uh, soon as though there's no change in the speed, therefore the gradient is zero. Um, we can also see just by inspection that A and D are both steeper than C. So let's rule out C as well. So now we're only considering sections A and D. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and work out uh, what the gradient is in each of these sections. So in section A, first of all, uh, we've gone from a speed of 0 to a speed of 15 metres per second. So the change in velocity, or speed, uh, is 15 minus 0, and the time span is 10 seconds, uh, so divided by 10. Uh, so uh, we have a speed of 15 divided by 10, which is 1.5 metres per second. Okay, and then on, in section D, uh, we've gone from a speed of 25 metres per second to a speed of 0 metres per second. So the change in speed or velocity is 25 minus 0 divided by the time span, uh, which is from 30 to 50 seconds, which is 20 seconds in total. Uh, so uh, that gives us 25 divided by 20 or 1.25 meters per second. So as you can see, uh, the steepest section or the greatest acceleration is section A. Uh, so therefore, the answer would be A. So if we move on to the third skill then, uh, this is calculating the total distance travelled in a speed time graph. Uh, so the distance travelled, uh, distance equals speed times time. So in a graph, uh, that's the area underneath the graph. Uh, so uh, once again, we'll use the sections A, B, C and D. This time we'll work out the areas of the shapes uh, and that will give us, uh, if we sum them together, that will give us the total distance. Uh, so let's look at section A first of all. Now we've got a triangle. Uh, so to work out the area of a triangle, uh, use the formula half base times height. Uh, so we have 0 0.5 times uh, the base, which is 10 seconds, times a height of 15. Uh, so that gives us 75 meters in total. Uh, meters because our units are meters per second and uh, seconds. So the seconds cancel, so we end up with meters. And if we move on to section B, uh, we can see that we've got a rectangle here. So to, cal to calculate the area of a rectangle, it's just the width times the height. Uh, so the width is 10, and the height is 15, so we've got 10 times 15, which is 150 metres. Then in C, we've got a trapezium. Uh, so the formula we need for that is we add the two parallel sides together, divide them by 2, and then times it by the vertical height, or the width in this case. Uh, so uh, we'll do a half times... Uh, now the two parallel sides are 15 and 25, so that's here and here, so that's 15 uh, plus 25, and then we times that by the width, which is again 10, that gives us 200 metres. So finally, in section D, uh, we have another triangle, so once again it's a half base times height, so it's 0 0.5 times the base, which is 20 seconds in this case, uh, times the height, which is 25 and that gives us 250 meters. So the total distance, therefore, uh, we just add all of these together. Uh, so we've got 75 plus 150 plus 200 plus 250. If you add all of those together, you should get a value of 675 meters in total. If you want to get some practice with some velocity time graph questions, then why not practice our online exam? Uh, you can get there through our revision platform and uh, there's loads of different questions to have a go at here. Uh, so you get instant feedback on each and every one of them, uh, which will allow you to keep track of the areas that you're weakest at and you need to improve on. Uh, so if you're interested, then click the link below. It will take you straight there.